Well, I think the government's decision to recognise Juan Guaido is a democratic outrage. The truth is he's never been elected as president of the National Assembly. They have a, a Buggins turn system, effectively, where the four groups who actually are in control in the National Assembly take it in turn. So he's never been elected. He didn't stand against Maduro in last year's election. And contrary to your previous contributor who alleged that the uh, elections were rigged. I've spoken to election observers on the ground and there were observers from 86 countries who say that that simply isn't true, that it's impossible, in fact, they say, to rig the election in Venezuela because each voter who turns up at the polling station has to bring voter ID and each vote is is twinned with their fingerprint. And it's also important well, to well, think to let's, remember let's, let's that uh, Jimmy Carter... No yeah. Let's, let's deal with some of the other realities, one of which is this is one of the very richest countries on, on the continent of Latin America. It's, 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 it's a wonderfully endowed country uh, and it is completely bankrupt. Whose fault is that? Well, I mean, I think there is very real problems in Venezuela, but I think it's important. Just let me just go back to one point, though. No, no, Jimmy but whose fault, said these elections whose fault in, it is? I asked you whose fault it is. I asked you whose fault it is. Well, let me just let me just make this. Well, I'll come back to that, John, in a moment. But the elections in, in the past have been described by Jimmy Carter as the safest anywhere in the world. In terms of the fault, well, look, Maduro was dealt a very bad hand, wasn't he? When he came into office, the uh, oil price uh, collapsed. He was then hit by extreme uh, violence on the streets with right-wing forces, which were supported by the United States of America. That was then made even worse by Barack Obama signing an executive order, absurdly claiming that Venezuela posed an extraordinary threat to the national security of the United States. And then, since Donald Trump has come in and has ratcheted up the, the sanctions even further, it has caused huge shortages. And it's important, I think, yeah. to remember as well that a UN special rapporteur has said that the sanctions imposed by the United States are illegal and could constitute crimes against humanity. Never what the United uh, Kingdom ought to be doing we is are, pressing, we pressing, are where the, we are. pressing the we US are where to withdraw we are. the sanctions. Yeah, well, we've got a, a country that's been reduced to absolute poverty by maladministration and the rest, and protests too, but nevertheless, uh, on its knees, when it should in fact be towering high, what's your solution then to what should well, happen next? Absolutely. Well, 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 my solution for what should happen next is that the United Kingdom, rather than behaving like Donald Trump's poodle, should be calling on him to withdraw the sanctions and to use their good officers to bring the different factions around a table and, and reach an amicable solution. Let's remember that Maduro himself has called for, for talks to actually stop the, uh, the violence and to, to bring an Mr. end Williamson, to you, you, the, you talk you know, the as if, economic difficulties yeah. that they're currently experiencing. But you talk as if this is Britain on our own. Britain has joined many other countries, and today it's Sweden, France, uh, and others. Uh, Italy? Oh, well, yeah, yes, well, OK, yeah, but then, but then Mexico. Well, hold on. No, Italy actually have, have no, not Spain, come out. My Spain. understanding is Italy have actually continued to, to rec recognise uh, the... My mistake. Uh, the, the, my well, mistake. OK, fine. Spain. Uh, but, uh, but, but Bolivia, Bolivia Mexico, countries? Russia, China, Italy... And le well, listen, it's, it's rather ironic, isn't it, Spain, when, when, when the, the Catalans saw independence and, uh, and had their referendum, what did they do? They sent in their troops, their security services, meted out extreme violence on the uh, uh, Catalan people and put their leaders in jail. Uh, this well, isn't, look, this I, hasn't happened look, we, we, to we, we, uh, Juan, Juan we Guaido, can has it, in, in we Venezuela? We can deconstruct every single element of this. Your, your case is supported by Russia, China. You would hardly want to go uh, to the wire on trying to defend them on human rights or anything Mexico, else. Mexico, Bolivia, is, well, Italy. Come on, John. Yeah. Uh, look, Mr. Williamson, you well, and Mr. On. Corbyn you know, are in a unfair, cor you and Mr. Corbyn are in a very nasty corner now. You've got a country that is in terrible, terrible condition, and that is down to the people who ran it and the people you supported. Isn't it time you changed sides well, and on, got behind well, what is happening sorry, now? John. Well, no, I'm not going to get behind Donald Trump because the the action that he's taking now could precipitate well, well, what, a what about the human civil rights war, hundreds of thousands abuses. of casualties. Are you going to get behind them as well? Are you going to get behind Mr Maduro's gross, nobody is, gross human rights hold abuses? Hold on a minute. Nobody, no, nobody is going to uh, support human rights abuses and they should be called out wherever they, occur, uh, wherever, wherever they occur. But the media, including Channel 4, I've got to say, John, has been a bit one-eyed in, in its reportage of what's happened in Venezuela. I've seen uh, footage of uh, government supporters 
who have been beaten to death, set on fire, been decapitated, and these things need to be called out as well. And this is being supported tacitly by the United States, who are financing this kind of abuse. Well, look, Mr Williamson, the you Venezuelan will also society have seen... Is, is riven. You will also have seen the three million refugees that we've covered pouring into Colombia. Uh, what do you say about them? Understandably, people are concerned about their safety and their welfare in Venezuela, and they're, and they're you know, they're, they're resorting to, to moving out of the country. But of course, in the past, you know, it's important to remember that millions of people are travelling in the opposite direction from, from Colombia into Venezuela. And that's why I come back to the point. Look, the Venezuelan society is divided. The, the poor working class and the black community predominantly support the Maduro government. The middle class and the elites in, in Venezuela uh, predominantly do not. We need an end to the economic sabotage. We need an end to the uh, sanctions from uh, U the United States. And we need the United Kingdom to be using its good officers to try and bring a peaceful solution well, because Mr. this Williamson, could escalate out of control. It's clear. The United, it's States, clear, the United it, States' actions yeah. in, in, in Latin America yeah. are appalling. Mr. Williamson, they we, wanted we're to out make of the time, economy I'm afraid, scream in Chile. We, you've had a good and go. And that's what they're doing in you've Venezuela. You've had a good go. You've put your case. Thanks very much indeed for joining us.